Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's time for episode 104 of Fine Music. And leading off again today, while Fred is in Cape Cod, we've got Jim Bobway and his virtual playlist number 21. 021, Frankie and the Witch Fingers. And this is a pretty interesting band. Um, on the virtual playlist this time, I've listed their albums and the years that they have been released. Um, most of what I'm going to tell you today is based upon one that was released in 2020 called Monsters Eating People Eating Monsters. And I think I want to start off by reading a, a review that's uh, kind of interesting. The writing's really interesting. L let me read this little paragraph for you here. Frankie and the Witch Fingers, if you tune your ears to the cracks in the San Andreas and listen in for the world gurgling grind, you might come close to the tectonic thunder that's been beaming out of L.A. for the past few years under the banner of Frankie and the Witch Fingers. Hashed and hardened in the Midwest Indian enclave of Bloomington and catching the ear of the Chicago site contingent with their early singles, the band headed west around the same time that the crew at Permanent put up shop in the Golden State. With records spread across labels like Hypnotic Bridge, Permanent, Greenway, and the Reverberation Appreciation Society, the band has been an ever-evolving force of rhythm-rigged rock and roll pummel ever since. Anchored by songwriters Dylan Sizemore and Josh Manash, the band has kept up a rotating door of friends and collaborators moving through their midst along the way, with each bringing their own particular melt to the mountain of sound the Witch Fingers maintain. That's pretty That's pretty fun writing. I don't know how much it tells you about what the music's about, but it's pretty interesting. Um, I, uh, I added a little bit to the virtual playlist this time on the bottom, and... This is a band, they're young, okay? And uh, I mean, well, a lot of bands are young compared to us, right? So, <laughs> uh, I wanted to say that really they make music that's big and complicated. It's really worth listening to loud. Um, it's the kind of thing that you're not going to bring to a, a Sunday afternoon picnic, you know, uh, unless you want to get kicked out of the park, you know, unless, unless it's a park full of people that love Frankie and the Witch Fingers. Um, couple of uh, interesting song titles. They have Odes to Lou Reed and Osley. Um, an upset there. Uh, their music is, is really complicated. It's progressive, uh, but it re it's reminiscent of Primus, Nine Inch Nails, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, Frank Zappa, and The Mother's Invention, King Crimson, Add the Dukes of Stratosphere, The Sex Pistols, which is a kind of a uh, eclectic mix of sound but man they they catch all of that in in their music and uh you know highly recommended i've listened to smatterings of the other releases um but monsters eating people eating monsters is really a great album and one of the other things that uh should be mentioned there uh they have separate cuts listed on their um you know on the cds but um, most of the time, one song will segue into the other song, will segue into the next song, will segue into the next song. So you don't have any blank space and it's really seamless. The segues are very, very good. So that's Frankie and the Witch Fingers. They're going to be playing here in Southern California at the end of September um, at a festival in Paris, California, P-E-R-R-I-S, California. Uh, that's Riverside County. And um uh, along with a whole group of other acts. Frankie at the Witch Fingers will be playing there in Paris. At There's a lake in Paris, by the way. And uh, the festival is centered on that, you know, right around the lake in that area. So any questions? That's it for Frankie and the Witch Fingers this time. Sounds like fun. Hmm. It is. Well, by the way, Lev Levitation Sessions is not uh, a, a new album with a bunch of new songs. It's a, uh, a group of live recordings from the other albums. And I'll tell you, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. The, the fidelity and the um, the production values are really excellent, excellent, excellent. I, I tried to find one of their CDs at Luz here in Lucadia and they're sold out. You know, they've been sold out for a while. Every time they order some, you know, they sell really fast. So um, check them out. You can see them, you can hear them, see them on YouTube. Okay. 
Oh. Could I see that paragraph one more time? You have at the bottom of the page? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't want to just read it out loud, but um, Dukes of Stratosphere is a... Uh, what were they what's their other name uh uh let me say can't remember dukes of stratosphere it's a dukes of stratosphere is like a psychedelic version of another band whose name i just don't recall right off the top of my head mm. british 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 yeah that's the uh got it that's really eclectic uh, list of influences. Yeah. I, I probably could have added some more there too, but I, I think the, the King Crimson and Primus, I, I think if you're going to narrow it down, that would be, that would be the, um, those, so they're would, great instrumentally. Oh, really good instrumentally. Really hmm. good instrumentally. They, they usually start off with a, um, a really great hook. They have great hooks. Um, some of their music starts off deceptively mellow and then it just climbs into this, you know, radical, loud, fun um, exhibition of uh, virtuosity. That's the best way I could put it. Oh, I think you covered it. Now, people, you just got to go check it out. What's that name again? Frankie, Frankie and, the and the Witch Fingers. There you go. Oh see them in concert paris extensive. california yeah they have an extensive tour lined up and they're going to be all over the country and their their appearances range from music festivals like the one in paris to like joe's bar and grill you know <laughs> so uh this is a band that would be great to see in a small venue like that have you seen them are you going uh i'm not going to the paris thing i'll be out of town and uh, the tour doesn't take them anywhere near the places where I'm going to be. So um, if they return to a place that's close, I'll definitely go see them. I'll catch them. They're young. They'll be back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Hopefully All right. So. Thank you, Jim. If you can take the screen share off, people can okay. thank you <laughs> in a larger size. Not sure. Here we go. Bing. There he is. Bing, bing, bing. Thank you, Jim. Always something interesting. I'm going to conclude.